That is where Cartoon Network makes all of their TV shows in that crazy black building. Check this out, this is one of my favorite elevators in the entire system. Alright, we're on the 17th floor headed down, we're on a journey today. So I'm in Burbank, California, and the other day I got a tip flying for Skydive Ogden. Actually, it was a hand-me-down tip. Nobody ever tips the pilot. And I thought, I'm gonna go get a new hat. I know I just got this hat in the Boston video, but I think it's time for another one because I keep wearing the same two hats in all these freaking videos. And I love wearing hats, so. The goal is to find a new hat. There's a shopping place right down this street from our hotel. I've only been there once, I don't know what's there. If I can find a hat, sweet. If not, sucks. There's something in here. What's a pink kid? If you need a new hat, let me know. This is like, not for me. I don't think they have anything here. Back at Urban Outfitters, this is where I bought my last hat. Oh, it's so sick. Problem is the only other hat I have is a blue Patagonia hat, so. I still like that one, I might get it, but I've only been to two stores, I need to go to more. It's a really big Urban Outfitters. The small looks a little bit different than last time I was here. Going in. Does this look wrong? I don't know if we're gonna need luck here, but let's see what we can find. There's like three stores in this mall that I think I'd ever go to, and two of them are right there. Let's see what they got. That might be it. I think the Nike one's it, but I'm gonna walk around the mall for a bit, see if there's any other stores, because you never know what you can find. I've been here once before, and I remember there not really being any other stores that interested me, but what else do I have to do today? I changed my mind, this is the one I want. I called Lindsay to get her opinion. She wanted a picture, so I tried to look it up online and found that one, and I like that one even more than the ones in the Zimmy shop. So I think I'm gonna get that, but I need to go to a Tilly's. The problem is there's no Tilly's around here, so I might need to wait till I get home to buy it. And the problem is, if you know me at all, I'm the least patient person in the entire world. So, this is a tough one for me. But that hat was just so sick that I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna actually wait. I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna wait. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna wait and then buy it. So I guess all that's left to do today is go to Ikea. So I'm headed there now. I know what you're probably thinking. Why Ikea? <laughs> Doesn't everybody go furniture shopping on their overnights? Well, the answer, my friends, is that they've got pizza for like a dollar and ice cream for the same. And sounds good. That and you can never have enough lamps. And honestly, there's something nice and comforting about being somewhere that you have at home when you're away, especially when you're away as much as I am. So going to a place like this kind of makes you feel a little bit like you're back at home, even though you're not. And they got dimes. If you never had dimes, go pick some up at Ikea. It's Swedish candy, really good. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Every time you see those flags, it's good things coming. This is also probably the most boring and stupid vlog that I've posted ever, and I'm sorry for that, but I've been uh, pretty busy. Lindsay's been gone, and we haven't been able to do anything like really cool, like vlog-worthy. I've mostly just been doing computer work and editing and talking to people and working things out and planning. So anyways, bad excuses, but this is the best I got today. I'm gonna... I'm on a shorter overnight. There's not really much to do here. The weather kind of sucks, <laughs> as it looks like really good. That looks like the intro to Simpsons, but I don't really have anything cool to do here today. I'm trying to make the best of it, because you know, four more. I never know if I'm gonna be back in Burbank again. And apparently the best of it is going to Ikea for food. Damn. I guess, I guess that's it. Mm. This all the other good steps upstairs, so that's where I'm headed. Wow, everything about this room is like 
what I want. Lynn's this room will be our house. I guarantee it. I get to this point every time I come to Ikea where I'm just like over it and I want to go, but I have no idea how to get out. And I'm there now. Seriously though, like, how do I get out of here? Here we are. Finally got my food. I went with the Swedish meatballs in honor of Lindsay. Kind of pissed because in line they had the sickest sunset ever, but it took forever. All right, last thing I gotta do is go buy dimes. I don't see the big bags anywhere. Crap. That's a bummer. They usually have big old bags of them, but I can't find them. Guess I'm just gonna have to get this. There it is. Well, this overnight was much less eventful. I set out to go find a hat. Found one, but didn't buy it because it's not in the store, it's online. And then found some good food in Ikea to make me feel like I was at home a little bit. Lindsay's family is Swedish, that's why they're so into this store. And they are very proud of their heritage, so. Anyways, it's been a good overnight. I've been trying to make the best of it. I know that there's not a whole lot to do in this area and it's not that long either. So I'm headed back to the hotel now. I'm gonna do some editing and call it a night because we gotta get up early tomorrow to go back to work. We try to have fun. So thank you Ikea for the good food, the good treats, and the good dimes, and see you in the next one.